Hey, this is Red Band coming to you for the uh, blah, 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 world famous comedy store. This is a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Blah, blah. Yay. Fuck yeah. How you guys doing? Happy Monday. Hi, everybody. Uh, how exciting. Episode 34 of Kill Tony. Here we are. Yes, yes. Another and we're still alive. Yeah. You had a fun weekend. You were in Vegas. Yeah, I pretty much took, uh, as if you listened or hear last week, uh, we went to Texas. We killed our bodies. We both pretty much died, yeah. came back to life. But I had to go immediately to the AVNs. I didn't have to. I made myself. Uh, and so I just had, I partied like I was 21. Like I, I can't believe that. And I specifically told you before you went, I'm like, you're going to have to be careful out there. Yeah. You, you totally just no. didn't give a fuck. I, I think the earliest I went to bed was like 9 a.m. Wow. Like seriously, and it it was it went from like the problem is is that you go downstairs to get like coffee when you wake up in the morning, and immediately you're inside of a porno. Like there's like people, there was people with machines that were inside their like pants that looked like robots that were going, zzz, 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 and it was just putting dildos in their ass when they were walking wow. around. Wow, really? I swear to God. <laughs> Wow. And then every single person you see, they're like, oh, hey, come up to my room. Let's smoke some weed. You go up to the room. It's like, it's fucking Miami Vice, 1980. There's piles of cocaine. There's fucking bongs. There's so people. it's like, because uh, I feel like most people would think that the AVNs would be like a disappointment. You're saying that it's. M no, no. It's hangover the movie. It's anytime you close your eyes as a kid and think, <laughs> oh, I want to go to Vegas one day. And then you go there. And it's like, oh, that was kind of cool. No, it's what you closed your eyes as a kid and thought it was right. going to be. Yes. Machine dildos going in yes. and out of people's asses. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yep. How saw, cool. Saw people fuck at the bar. It was great. Mm -hmm. Dave Navarro was there with five girls all eating each other out. And like, and the best part was... Really? Yeah. Yeah. Dave that, Navarro. Yeah. Wearing, and you saw him eating girls out. Well, no. In he Vegas. was on a couch with all, girls all around him. And all the girls were eating each other out. And their boobs wow. out. And then the funniest... So you got to see Dave Navarro's life for a moment. Yeah, Just I did. for a glimpse. Yeah, and I sat next Because it was AVNs for you, but it was Thursday for Dave Navarro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a whole Dave Navarro story that it's too long to go into. It. There was some weird shit with yeah. Dave Navarro. It, it was weird. But, <laughs> but the best part was is that there was constantly, I saw it at least twice, there was families with kids checking into this hotel while there's, there's people walking by with dildos connect, like, like on their foreheads. And wow. Worst parents of the world. Yeah, you <laughs> got to do research. You can't take your kids. I bet they have creepy discounts to draw kids there because they know it's a very adulty weekend. So right. Like whatever water parks or whatever. Ugh. God. To or try to get kids maybe there. I, that's disgusting. I, that should be a little. I, I, had, I had the opposite weekend. I spent my weekend recuperating. I miraculously came out of the most sick that I've ever been in years. Did you go least. to the doctors and everything? I went to I went to the doctor twice. It was a debacle. It was a debacle. But I'm all better. It just ended up being some crazy bug. Or and, we uh, got roofied, which could be a possibility also because we talked about oof. we've lost six hours of our life one night. Yeah. That, 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 I think I did. I think I may have blacked out on in, during, in Dallas. Yeah. Shit got creepy that night. I, I agree. Like you, you were, we were talking earlier and we were like, remember we were at that place and then we were on that one place and I'm like, no, I don't. I, I remember yeah. a painting. Like, yeah. like, you're not supposed... Like, Jack Daniels doesn't make you, like, black out that much where you're, you're at a place for six hours. I think it was the Long John Silvers, man. We had Long John... Our only meal all day because we were in the tail end of this crazy road trip was Long John Silvers that was connected to a Shell gas station. And we're like, we're in the middle of Texas. Who gives a fuck? We're hungry. Let's do the Long John Silvers. We haven't had that in forever. Uh, like, it reason. seemed like it was a cool idea at the time, but it was a really big mistake. But uh, I had a great weekend, spent it recuperating, did shows back here at the home clubs, the comedy store, the Ice House for the first time in like four or five weekends I've been out on the road, so it's good to be home. Played some Birds of Steel. I have a flight simulator video game that I got for Christmas that's uh, very exciting. I know how to fly planes now. <laughs> no big deal. But uh, I'm excited because I was, came to the show on uh, Friday in the main room here, big, big show, and a packed show, good spot, and there's something glistening in the second or third row, and uh, I see this gold hat, and who was it but the Iron Patriot? He came to the show in the flesh. Put your hands together for the Iron Patriot, everybody. I will leave these new events. 
soldiers into battle against anyone who would threaten our way of life. I am the Iron Patriot. Fuck yeah, that's our head of security here, making sure we're all safe yeah. at all times. I had a good weekend, Tony. Yeah. I came out of my costume on Friday and Saturday to the main room. Mm -hmm. I was looking very stylish. I had my 5950 Iron Man cap. I had my Nike Air Force One Iron Man shoes. My Under Armour Iron Man shirt. I had my all-white Adidas warm-up suit. And uh, many of the comedians commented on me. Mark Marin wanted to know who I was. I told him I'm, I'm Iron Patriot from Kill Tony. I oh, was no, you didn't say this during the live show, yes, did you? Yes, yes, and he was, he was really, really making fun of me, and I said, I go, Mark, <laughs> I said, this is how I came back to him. I said, Mark, my brother gave me this white w warm-up suit before he died, and it threw off his game a little bit. Why would you do that to him? Well, I want to make him feel guilty, and it is a true story. My brother did give, this, give that to me before I died, but... He ended up playing it off good. The crowd loved it. It was a funny moment. Uh, Jeff Ross, he wanted to know who I was. I told him who I was. Well, I bet, Patriot, you were wearing an all-white jumpsuit with a gold sparkly cap in the second <laughs> row of the show. Did, did he have his gold chains also, his oversized gold chains? Yeah, I think so. I had my silver necklace on. Did, <laughs> oh. <laughs> did you, do, do you dress like that? In, like, what is your normal I'm going to Jamba Juice Saturday morning? Uh, I, I, well, here's what's creepy, is that he came in the exact same clothes both Friday and Saturday. Well, oh. I felt like I need to make a statement. It was my first weekend coming down. I what's that statement, that you don't bathe or wash your clothes? No, no. no. I wash the shirt. I, I take it to the cleaners. You did uh, not take it to the... There's no same-day well, dry not, cleaners uh, where you live in Hollywood, sure, Patriot. I wash the shirt, but you got a warm-up suit. You don't have to wash that every what, day. Well, why would you lie and say that you got that shirt dry cleaned in between Friday and <laughs> no, Saturday? Why would you lie to me on I'm our own podcast? I washed the shirt, but the warm-up suit, you don't need to guy. do that all the time. It's not like I was doing a triathlon or nothing. So did you take it to the dry cleaners or not? No, I'm talking about the shirt I washed. Not the, 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 I, I, I do every once in a while. I didn't, I'm just saying every once in a while. <laughs> what are you saying, Patriot? <laughs> I, think, I think you're having a short circuit right now. You know, you know. But uh, Jeff, Jeff Ross beat up on me pretty bad. But one thing I want Jeff to always know is I'm the one that fired the first shots because when he was on Kill Tony, I got after him before he got a chance on me. So, Jeff, yeah, you it, remember that. It didn't go well. Yeah, but that I That interaction didn't go well. You um, ruined that moment. It hurt him. It hurt him. I got, I got a little, little <laughs> torpedo shot to the bow. He didn't like me talking about his double chin. His all right, all right, all right. That's, that's enough. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, Patriot. Yeah. Yeah. Take it easy, man. Yeah, I got a special song I'm going to do tonight, Tony. Oh, no. Uh, this you sent gonna, in a song? This is going to show my softer side. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, I know you guys purposefully don't yeah. tell me when he sends in a song because you know I don't want to do it. Yeah. And been, I'll just tell you guys right then, like, we can't possibly. Yeah. I've been moving through my music career. I did one for my first band, Romeo the Dreamers. Let me ask sang. you a question because I saw a tweet this week that somebody tweeted that they bought the Dirty Crabber album. This yeah. is a failed rock and roll band from Dallas in the early 90s. Um, and the whole album, I believe, is $10, right? Yeah, it's $10. All right, now time. here's my question. From your newfound Iron Patriot fame, you know, Death Squad fans have gone and ventured into this music, and some of them are buying it. Are you sharing the profits with the other yeah, members yeah. of the band? Because clear back in 98, I signed up with The Orchard. Do you know that red band, The Orchard Company, that sells music? No. I signed up with them, and it... If, Sounds if, like a really big people, label. <laughs> no, no, it's a big, it's a big internet label, the Orchard, and if people buy that, that money will go directly into my bank account. So I appreciate anybody who bought it, helps me out a lot. <laughs> wow. Well, he just loopholed a response to you. Yeah. He just pretty much said that he just gets all the money. No, the yeah. Orchard. Andy gets... <laughs> double promoted it. He said the name of the website five times. The Orchard gets a percentage, and then I get the rest. How much does Orchard get? I think they get about thirty percent, maybe, and I get wow. Seven. I'm not sure what the thing is, but um, they, they take a pretty healthy chunk out of it. Fuck yeah. All right. Let's, uh, uh, what, I, don't, I can't believe you sent in another song. Yeah. Patriot, the, is this a new one? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. After I get done with it, I'll tell you what it's about. Okay. Well, how far in do we have to go? Because these are good. usually just completely um, unbearable. It's, it's not going to be that long. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Here he's we a, go. He's, this band failed completely this is me and he's trying to reintroduce it to people this is me playing guitar solo just singing with a guitar it's hilarious though you got to check out the music videos the man behind the suit is uh Turn up, they also they always sound the same do, 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 do. <laughs> jamie <laughs> how can i find the words to say I think of you every night and day, and 
God only knows I can't help it. And sometimes when I look at your brown eyes, I get a feeling that I just can't hide. And God only knows I can't help it. It's what I want to do. I want to get real close to you. I want to hold you in my arms. This time's gonna be right It's gonna be right Oh, Jamie When I'm holding you so near The world just seems to disappear And God only knows I can't help it That's it, you don't have to do anymore <laughs> Whoa, something I, bad happened in that song I didn't right there. I, I didn't know your robot suit had a bailout switch <laughs> like that. Do, I mean, do you go into like a, an experimental rap part of that song or something? Because you jumped on to tell me to stop right there. Well, I didn't, I didn't want to go on too long. I mean, you guys get the point. It's, right. It, it's a beautiful song. I, mean, I get the feeling the second verse of the song is when you choke out Jamie and hide her underneath your parents' <laughs> stairs. But, but, but let, let me say something. That's the only girl I wrote a song to. It was a girl I was in love with named Jamie back in 1992. And um, I just really fell for this girl. Um, it, the ironic thing was is she had a bunion on her foot. And I, I, oh. us, I usually don't like that on a foot, but I gave an exception. She had a nice face, a nice body. I soothed on the pouch, licked the toes. Um, now, now, she ended up marrying my bass player from my band Shame. So I didn't get her. I didn't stay with her that long, but it, I, I was really in love. When did they start dating? When well, you were, when you, were you was, still in the band with It them? was a couple of years after that they started hooking up and... And they, they have three children now and live in Dallas. But, Oof. Uh, Let him deal with the bunions. Yeah, yeah, but she was a beautiful woman. I mean, there, there's no doubt about it. Mm. Wow. Yeah, but that's a little slice of my life back in 92. Where did things go wrong with Jamie? Well, I and don't did know. Did she really have brown eyes, or was that supposed yeah. to be a joke when you were looking into her brown eyes? No, no. She, she yeah, were you talking about Jamie's eyes. asshole in that lyric? Yeah. She had a beautiful, beautiful brown eyes. It's... I'm thinking about now. I, I really oh, my her. God. Jeez. You're really twitching over there. My God. That nervous twitch is unbelievable. I noticed you don't really have it outside of the suit, but inside the suit, you're just a fucking... I mean, my God. Yep. I work in mysterious ways, telling me. Are you still writing songs? Do you still write Dirty Crabber songs? Uh, no. I haven't been writing songs in a while. Awesome. Um, That's great. That's really good news. I still got to play a lot more songs from my past before I get to know you. Well, I'm glad that you're here, Patriot. Uh, we have a very exciting show. Um, what do you say we get it started? It's Kill Tony 34, everybody. Uh, our guest tonight, this is his third time on the show. He is a true Kill Tony favorite, one of my funnier friends in the world. You know him from uh, his hit show right now, Getting Doug with High. It's the one and only Doug Benson. Boom. He's back. Him and the Patriot have a great chemistry. They're very close. It's just fun to pretend that you're punching, uh, you know, Tony Stark or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Norman Osborn. The Patriot. Doug, how's it going, buddy? Welcome uh, back. I'm so happy to be back. It's, it's already been a great show. That song wasn't so bad. No, that was actually one of his better ones. It, it, normally, you. his songs get very repetitive over and over and over again, very quickly, within like 20 seconds. Well, I think he was very professional tonight and cut it off before that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Sweet. Yeah, that was very emotional. I actually like that song. I, thought, I think that might be my favorite of yours because it didn't have the same formula like that jumps into a chorus back into the thing. It was like, yeah, hell, you know, you. whatever. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's really growing as an artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doug, Doug, can I talk to you a little bit? Oh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Doug, Doug, it's good seeing you again. We had fun at the podcast festival. You're the Messiah of marijuana. You got one eye that looks like it's on Indica, one eye that looks like it's on Sativa. <laughs> Hey, that's now, a Jeff Ross line. Now, now, okay. Yeah, yeah you okay, don't, I now love... the comic patriot stealing should not be part of your <laughs> okay, okay. repertoire of well, comedy. You're right. But that you're... was a good line when Jeff said it. Yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. I it's love funny my... how it also didn't get a laugh when the comic patriot said it. Yeah. But, but I, I do love watching your, no, your new show, Getting Dug with Hyatt. I've watched all the episodes, and this is what, what I wanted to ask you is, you know, you always have your first smoke down of the day at 419. Now, did you arrive at that precise time over a lot of experimentation? 
uh, over the years of you know smoking too early and too late? And is how did you come at that time? This is a real question. It's four nineteen. Is that is you that? You know, you know, you've heard of four twenty, Comic Patriot. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh my God, that really just happened. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. Yeah, every episode at 419, I announced that it's 419, and then we're smoking at 420. <laughs> what was that? Well, well, Doug, something, can I, can somebody I, just threw some uh, energy drink. Five hour energy drink. Can, can I ask you this, Doug? I, mm-hmm. I know that Tony isn't a big enough star on his own to come on your show, but what if Jesus I came with him? Jesus Christ! What, now, what, what if I came Oh my with him? God, you piece He's of definitely, shit! What if I came oh, with it's him? Brian that's throwing what stuff. Is, what if I came along with him? Would that be enough star power us to get it to come on? Oh my God, Patriot. <laughs> I was, you're a couple steps ahead of me, which is odd because you could barely move in that thing. <laughs> Um, but I was go- I was thinking about doing an episode where you just stand in the corner and do this thing that you're doing now. No, because yeah. that'd be pretty fun. Because we would just we could just blow pot smoke in your face the whole time. Well, I want to be right in there though with you in the conversation. I don't want to be on the side. I want to be participating. Put a tube into him, like so a tube's just coming out the side, and we could all blow it into oh, his mouth. Yeah, let's blow it inside great. your costume. Yeah. yeah. I think that'd be fun. And we'll send a bus. <laughs> we'll send a. We'll send some sort of uh, a bus or something to come and get you, so you could stand in the suit. We could put a tube that goes like straight up to the top of his head, so that when we blow smoke into it, it just comes right out of his eyes and shit. We That's can get I just right said. on. Right. <laughs> no, I mean I can really picture it being great. Yeah, it's a great idea. We should just do that anytime, even if even if Doug. Yeah, we should do that right, right. now. And of course, Tony is a uh, big enough stoner to be on the uh, the show. Yeah. Uh, How you know. dare you, Patriot? What kind of well, what kind of team player are you? I want him to bring me though. That's I was trying to make an excuse why I can come too, because I want to come down to Culver City to that studio and see that uh, video podcast network. All right. Well, it bothers me that you know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to blindfold you before bringing you to the specific location. Hey, can I talk movies with you real quick before we move on? Uh, that's up to the hosts. Of course. Okay, there's a movie that came out in 2011. Brian, I said hosts. It's called uh, Take. It's Brian, called, weigh hey. in on this. Can he talk <laughs> movies with me? One more, just one more thing. One All more right. thing. I don't get to talk to Doug very often. There's a movie that came out in 2011 called Take This Waltz, and there's a shower scene that not oh, only Lord. shows oh, not only Lord. shows Sarah Silverman naked, sure. but Michelle Williams too. Have you seen mm-hmm. that? I, I have seen it. It's 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 pretty awesome, isn't it? <laughs> It's one of those kind of slice of life kind of moments in the picture where there's also a lot of uh, different sized ladies in the same uh, yeah, shower. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it's kind of a weird, a uh, lot of different emotions in my uh, in my in my dick. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite shower scene in a movie? Because I do love me that Michelle Williams, but I feel seeing Sarah Silverman naked is is weird to me. Uh, what? What is your favorite shower scene from a movie with with women in it? With women in it. <laughs> what do you think he's? What do you think he was gonna say? The Penn State documentary. I loved when Kevin Bacon got out of the shower in Wild Things, and you saw his dong. Uh, no, uh, women, women in a shower. What's uh, my uh, favorite? Porky's. Porky's is my favorite. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Carrie's good too. <laughs> I knew he'd agree. He said, yep. Yep. All right. Uh, no, I, don't, I can't think of any uh, offhand, but uh, okay. well, I'll get, I'll get on, back Doug to you. When I movies, we talk about it. Patriot, you know now how to bring up. he's trying to get on uh, Doug Lowe's movies also. He's, he's, this guy's a fucking machine, literally. Do you like food? Can you eat in that thing? Um, no, I eat before I come. <laughs> get the feeling wow, he says that. Wow, that should be in your personal <laughs> ad. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> <Craigslist. laughs> His back page. <laughs> As you know, I'd like to have a little sandwich before you do this. <laughs> well, let's get this thing started. You have been on before, Doug, and mm-hmm. uh, we had you at the uh, the podcast fest. You guys know uh, comedians, over 30 of them signed up tonight. It's so much fun. You guys know that you get 60 seconds. You know that 60 seconds up when you hear that sound of a kitty. <laughs> And that means wrap it up and don't do much more than that or else she'll bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> Furious. Uh, so, here we go. New tagline this week. Yep. 
Oh, you know well, what you should bring out is that did, guy that was yelling at, after the game yesterday to at Aaron Andrews. Oh, he was great. Yeah. Richard Sherman. Yeah. It's, it's so funny his name's Richard Sherman. It's crazy. Because the... didn't Richard Sherman write uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious <laughs> with his brother? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's a, true. That's an interesting fun fact. I, you know, saving Mr. Banks. I just saw that. So when Richard Sherman did that last it. night, the, the group of people that I was watching it with was more excited at that part of him freaking out than the entire game. I love that Aaron Andrews, like she didn't just watch all that shit go down between him and C- Crabtree. Right. She, she goes when he's like screaming, she's like, well, yeah. who, who's this directed at? Yeah. Who are you talking about? So that funny. guy, they, they, all that fighting they were just doing in that game that we were yeah. all watching. She really went Especially against the Especially the grain. reporters should be watching. She really didn't roll with that one. She Mm-mm. had a good chance to have something fun happen and she went awkward. <laughs> she sure did. <laughs> well, let's get it started, guys. You guys excited or what? Your first comedian goes by the name of Brendan Looney? Cooney? Los- it could be anything. Your name's Brendan. You're up. It's Cooney. I'm a middle class white guy, so it was either stand up comedy or anything else I wanted to do. Uh, a funny thing happened to me the other day. I was in the grocery store, and there was a rather large woman behind me. And all of a sudden, an entire ham fell out of her dress onto the ground. I think she was trying to steal the ham. And what she did was is she looked down at the ham, and then she looked up at me, and she said, Who be throwing hams? Who be throwing hams? I wanted to point and be like, that guy. But I was laughing too hard, so opportunity missed. Speaking of buying stuff, I hate going to Starbucks because I always mispronounce the name of the coffees. Like the other day, I asked for a tall caramel mama say mama sama makusa. They don't have that at Starbucks. Speaking of drinks, uh, there's a new study that just came out that said that diet soda can cause depression. But I'm going to keep drinking diet soda because what does it matter anyways? I kind of wish that that cat was in the act when he does it elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, Says like, that line. Like, and then you he hear throws them. it out the window and a trash can falls. Uh, it, you sounded very talk show hosty. Like, like you sounded like, like your segues were very, like, like very unnatural. And it kind of threw me off. But other than that, yeah, I mean, I, I think you're It's you're actually an interesting easy. one because I coincidentally was walking through the original room like 45 minutes ago or something. And I saw you just as I was walking from one side of the back to the front. And, uh. And I saw you do that joke about how I'm uh, middle-aged and, uh, you know, white, so I'm a comedian or whatever ha- whatever the hell you said about being able to do whatever you want. Um, and I laughed then, but I think that you totally said it completely different than how you said it the first time downstairs. And you got it across down there, which isn't on this, so I don't know why I'm really referencing it. What's but the I difference? Think I think there was something. Do you remember? I think I think it really. Do you was, know what you changed? I think uh, it was the pacing, really. Well, yeah, it was the pacing. Yeah, I was like, I started off with "What's up, friendly audience," and then it was there was probably more confidence. I was, I would say downstairs than there was when I did it right now. Why I do don't you know think why. that? Why? Why? If you had to guess on why that would be, why would you? Um, maybe I was just shocked that I got picked first. I don't right. know. Or, I, I don't know, I'm a big fan of Doug Benson. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. It could be like the Golden Globes, you know, every, every acceptance speech was, I didn't think, this was, I, didn't think I was going <laughs> to win. <laughs> and I'm go. always amazed by that, because they, they do have a one in five chance. Mm-hmm. And uh, in your case tonight, you had a one in, uh, how many people do you think there are? There are? 30-some. Yeah, so, so, uh, I, 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 so I buy that as an excuse. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on board with that. I mean, you know, sometimes there are things that throw you off your game, and when you can recognize them and, and adjust, and that's why I liked when you walked up here and just went Cooney, just said it, and then went into your act, mm-hmm. which is very matter factly. You didn't, uh, you know, whine about it, but missed opportunity there because you could, you know, maybe maybe have said something funny about it, and then everyone would have enjoyed the fact that you. Uh, ad lib something based off of uh, the awkwardness that had just happened but uh yeah i mean you know clearly clearly a professional presentation right right um 
the uh, fuck what was I just gonna say? Shit, I just lost it. Speaking of, what do you think about the ham falling <laughs> oh, out? Yeah, the that's ham actually... falling out from the, the lady in the aisle. I thought the voice was interesting. Had you said the, the ethnicity of the lady, or was that supposed no, to be no, a surprise? No, no. I didn't go into that. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was sort of surprised by that when it was uh, such a ethnic sounding voice, but especially it, it sounded like a guy. It was funny though. I mean, it was a funny voice. Uh, one thing I'm I not going to argue is, with that. One thing I would say is that you could definitely add on to a lot of that stuff. It seemed, I don't know if that's your take is like change direction almost. It was very one liner esque, but it almost didn't seem that way. But it's, you're like right in the middle of a one liner and not. Is that, is that the way that you roll or is that a thing or do you purposeful, do you like changing direction that often or? Like, for example, the Starbucks joke after you do the Mama Sam or something, like, you could have other – you you go to a different topic after that. And after yeah. your opener with the middle-aged white thing, you go into something totally different that really yeah. doesn't have to do with that. I usually tell stories, and then I have one-liners. So like I I've, think it's I the minute restriction, if I may, yeah. on your on your yeah. behalf. So I think I it's the like minute restriction that's making in. him throw out as many of his wares as possible. How but, long have you yeah. been doing stand-up? About two years. In L.A.? No, no. I did it back home in uh, Arlington, Virginia, which is like right near D.C. How long have you been in L.A.? About a little over a year. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, there you go. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Cooney. It's Cooney. Arli soon to be Arlington Phenom. <laughs> Cooney. Do you think that looks I think like that's the other thing you should do is just cut it down to just Cooney. This, this Brendan stuff at the beginning is sl sl slowing it down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cooney. What's that? He's on Twitter at uh, Cooney or Die. At Cooney or Die. Cooney or Die. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> 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 All right. Your next comedian goes by the name of Sean Khan. <laughs> Round of applause if you've seen the movie Lion King. All right, great. I don't like that movie because it doesn't make any sense to me. If you remember in the beginning of the movie, Simba and Nala are wrestling, and the old Nala flips, and she's like, ha-ha, I pinned you. And they wrestle again. She's like, ha-ha, I pinned you again. Cut to 15 years later, Nala's hunting Timon and Pumbaa. Simba tackles her at the last second. Now they fight for real until Nala flips him yet again, which makes Simba recognize Nala. And then Nala's like, oh, my God, Simba, you're still alive? You need to come back. You need to fight Scar. Things are terrible. It's like, Nala, why do you want Simba to fight Scar for you when you've just defeated Simba for the third time in this movie? <laughs> it's like, can't you do it yourself? You just proved you're like a black belt jujitsu and like, black belt and like lion jujitsu. You're like the hoist gracie of the lion kingdom. It's like, you can't fight Scar. Simba can't beat you, yet you want Simba to fight Scar. Simba is going to die. <laughs> Um, fuck yeah. Did you just recently get really high and watch The Lion King? <laughs> <laughs> like three weeks ago, but I didn't get high. Just three weeks ago? Yeah, three or four weeks ago. And that's what was happening. You well, were noticing just all that time. deep shit when yeah. that was going on. <laughs> I could Fin I Finally, it. someone's called that movie on its bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, you really gotta. I think I think that I think that kills if a crowd just got out of seeing the Lion King. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, who hasn't? I, that's uh, the well, lives we're leading. We've all seen the Lion King, so we've all. I don't remember. I don't just remember. got okay. out, but that's part of the charm the of it. Is that the, the specifics are are so fun? Right. Just the fact that a grown man. Are you also a brony? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know those adult <laughs> and, and young dudes that love My Little Pony. Uh, Have you seen that documentary? It by is the way? so good. It's the best. It is so good. I haven't laughed that hard at anything in a really long. That's time. the only reason I'm referencing it, and yeah. will continue to reference it for the rest of my life yeah. because uh, they're super into My Little Pony, like you are seemingly into Lion King. But it's more like you just saw it, and uh, you know you're you're looking for things to talk about, and uh, and you came up with that bit about it, and so here we are. Well, it's more it's more so to kind of uh, as open up to like entitlement. And things like that, and like, basically, it's basically. Oh, you had that idea first, and then applied uh, it to Lion yeah, yeah, King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the idea first, but I needed to find like some type of like gimmick to get into it. So I used like the Lion King as like a tangible point to start off with. Well, that's and then uh, use that to jump into. You know, I, that just felt to me like you just, you know, like was already said that you saw a Lion King and like thought of a funny thing about it. So no, uh, no, no. It's that's that's just to kind of get into the other bit like I have like stuff and then like I'll watch things and then that'll remind me of like oh that kind of goes with this that kind of goes with that so I'm just mixing things up like sure sure we're just seeing a chunk uh, section of it 
uh, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is to open into that bit because I would do things and it would just come off like too like misogynistic. And then this is like a way to kind of buffer that. It's still yeah, misogynistic no, as hell. Well, but, you know, you fuck know, it. There's nothing less misogynistic than the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the time I limit think. that made you speed up so fast? Yeah, like yeah, right yeah. now you you're were talking like normal, and I could, you know, be, you, you were so fast that I couldn't understand half of it, and it gave me a heart palpitation. Could you? I just want to do a quick little, like, uh, 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 <laughs> not game, but uh, I want to try something. Could you uh, say his name again, and could you put the mic back in the stand and come back up and do this? Uh, start exactly the same way you did last time, but just do it again. Like go go fr from the back of the room, leave the mic in the stand. Like we'll introduce you again, and then just no, just get just start the same way you did last time. If you if you can remember how you started, just start the exact same way. Ladies and gentlemen, you're never. Are you guys ready for your next comedian or what? <laughs> you're never gonna believe this. Sean Khan, everybody. Hey, it's Sean Khan. He's been on before. <laughs> All right, one more time. Just go. Don't start the act. Start like you did before. Just like start over again. Like come out like you're top of the act. Exactly what you did the last time. Then I'm going to point and, and, something and, and, out. And don't Thor the mic stand into the stage. <laughs> no, well, don't tell him what to do. I want him to <laughs> no, do exactly what he did the first time. <laughs> I know. Okay. <laughs> Put your fucking hands together. For Sean Khan, everybody. Whoa, what a surprise. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So I've made my point. Just by doing it three times, you already started to do it more like a goddamn human being. And not, not like you just got shot out of the cannon at the circus. <laughs> like, the first time, it was it was super cool the way you took the mic out, moved the thing, and went, so have you seen The Lion King? But it was just <laughs> like, what the fuck? What, what are we doing? I like, know. it was like... It was very UFC. So, yeah, so quick, so aggressive. And still, you pulled it out. It was still, a, uh, you know, the story was funny and the bit was funny. But I just thought, you know, go ahead and... Even though you only have one minute here today, go ahead and uh, like even now you're just sitting down super cash. Like just uh, just come up and uh, you know you owned it for sure, but it was like you could be more uh, calm seeming. Yeah, it's, like, I've like how you're right now. Like you and yeah. the way you did it the the third well, time. I've done that bit before, and it usually gets takes me like a minute and a half, two minutes to get into that kind of. It's punch a lot line. to so explain. I was trying to like yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I, I mean, it. there's there's all this points like like because that's why I open up with Have you seen Lion King? They clap, and then that's why I want to go over the finer points to not even to give like the base to the joke, but also for people to like remember that happened, that happened, that happened. Therefore, I my think learning to do to do one minute of comedy is a is a bad thing to be aiming for through this show because all we're seeing is a minute, but you should treat it more like. It's of a bigger thing because if you did, if you ran out of time and we're interested to hear the punchline, then we're not going to force you off the stage. We're going to say, what's the rest of the joke? You know what yeah. I mean? So don't like it shouldn't be a game about trying to get a joke in in under a minute because where are you going to be able to apply that? Right. To the rest and that's of your exactly career? what I think happened with uh, Cooney before. Like I said, I saw him downstairs and he was taking he was doing time. one liners to get a bunch of different things in instead of right. just presenting, yeah. you know, Staying part of pocket. part of what he's trying to do overall. And so I just say do that slower, and uh, you're you're good to go. Yeah, Lion King's relatable. I think the more recently they saw it, the harder they're gonna laugh because they'll probably understand your references, whereas a lot of us are sort of relearning it for the first time. So it's risky in that way, but it's definitely gonna kill at children's parties. <laughs> Sean Khan, everybody. And uh, <laughs> you know, if he plays any uh, gay bars, they'll like it because oh, they, yeah. they see the musical. Heck yeah. Do gay people like that musical, or is it just okay to them? It's probably just okay. <laughs> right? Bunch uh, of dumb animals running around. It, I don't know. That's a tough one. It's a lot of Do uh, gay people like animal puppets? <laughs> Maybe bears. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Animal Maybe puppets. Maybe bears. I don't know. It seems like... That bronies thing's something else, though, right? Oh, it's right. the best. Highly recommend that. It's actually very touching, too, that, that they all Dude, have, Dude, I like teared a up a couple times watching Yeah, <laughs> it really is. It it's really is. Like, it really makes you happy that these people weirdos... People yeah. <laughs> no, they're not... That's the thing, is they're not weird. They're not... and uh, They just like something in a very... Socially uh, awkward. 
Yeah, well, I love the guy that calls, calls it Asperger's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a whole nother level where you're yeah. not even saying the thing right. Watching him, tr- watching a camera crew follow him around trying to get directions to find the uh, Brony Con. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and him, you know, being so Asperger-y that he can't ask for directions. But there's a crew following him around and they know where it is. Right. right. That's the part <laughs> you know? that, yeah. So rude. <laughs> exactly. It seems kind of cruel, but, yeah. uh, but it was effective. It's a very interesting documentary. What's it called again? Bronies. Just Brownies. Yep. It's on Netflix. Netflix. Watch it. Yeah, I yep. think that. Yeah, get stoned though. Get really, really stoned. <laughs> yeah. Trey Stewart, everyone. <laughs> Holy moly. Trey Stewart. That's a comedy oh. star employee. No. Whoa. Oh, what? What's? Blacklisted. You know what that sounds like. What just happened to some poor person? <laughs> you know what happened. They got remember what happened last time first, we did? Yeah. First time I remember <laughs> first time. I filled my glass that, yeah, the last time. but uh, I went back and watched that a few times over and over <laughs> again. It's re- a really funny moment in the video history of this podcast is the Patriot blacklisting somebody and he's shocked. These you. are these are easy to topple. Yeah. Though, yeah. Look at how that, that's very, very top sturdy. Heavy. This I've got a sturdier glass this time. Good call. <laughs> Low center of gravity. That's it. <laughs> Trey Stewart, you've been blacklisted by the Bobby Lee rule. He is banned from the club for three months, but since he works the door here, your next comedian is Melanie Baldonado. Here she comes. It's nice being almost white. My mother is Hispanic, and I don't understand that if uh, you look white, why you wouldn't want to play the white card. I never understand how the most militant people of any race are the lightest skinned. Like, you don't understand the struggle. It's like, I don't think you understand the struggle. (laughs) You are the color of a paper towel. I don't get it. I have have cousins that are like really, really light skinned with green eyes, and they get mad at me. Like, you're so judgmental. It's like, you're the one who got a tattoo that attacks your neck. Okay, like, don't, don't come at me like that. <laughs> I felt like that was my minute. Maybe I've got more seconds. Uh, you got about 20 seconds. All right. Whoa, really? All right. Yeah. Yeah. I thought All right, I was um, with her. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that felt like a minute. Whew, I'll, right? I'll stay in on it. Um, when people get mad that they get judged at the airport, it's like, you look lighter than me. Yeah, you're Middle Eastern, but nobody judged you until they saw your ID. She just didn't believe you, okay? She thought that was your fake college ID, that you look 25, you're 40, we get it. Nobody judged you, sweetheart. (laughs) Nope, 15 more seconds. 15 more seconds. (laughs) 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 What do you got, some sort of stoner timer? (laughs) (laughs) Is it still not up? Oh, no, I did it. No, 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 it did Oh, I didn't hear it. Yeah. (laughs) Um... All right, go. Yeah, uh, they have a. Your cousin has a tattoo that attacks their neck. Well, oh, it attacks their face. Oops, sorry, that's new. Oh, they oh you said it attacks, attacks their, their neck. face. Gotcha. Well, it attacks their neck too on the neck, but it. Sure, just, yeah. Just so that the joke was that it looks like it's attacking right, his face. Right, it looks like it's attacking. All right, his yeah, face. you totally lost me on that. I was trying to figure okay. that out. And the last joke, I, I didn't get the, the, the last joke. Like, Middle Eastern people, sometimes they say that, like, they get judged at the airport, but it's like, you don't, you, like, you didn't get judged until you flashed your ID. Nobody knows that you're Middle Eastern. It's like, I mean, that's, like, don't bitch about it. Like, I get judged at the airport. I get pulled out of line. I'm not even Middle Eastern. I look like a terrorist. I mean, I guess. Uh, you did well, not look you like know, a terrorist The at terrorist all. robes <laughs> aren't helping. <laughs> And, uh, I do. Well, I that's mean, a dumb well, you know how like, joke. well, you know how in Swearing the line nice they're supposed dress. to go like every other, like they're supposed to go every other in the line. Do you remember that? Yeah. Like, back, but they used to pull me out right after they pulled other people. I mean, granted, I was flying from Kentucky because that's where I lived, uh, so I was always getting tight. I would it. never, ever, 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 ever look at you and think anything about terrorism. Really? Thank you so much. Seriously, I don't think anyone here would ever even think that. that. Really? Anyone here? Now, with bombing, on the <laughs> other hand. Um, <laughs> what? No, I, thought, uh, I thought that uh, everybody really enjoyed your uh, presentation. And, uh, you know, it was unfortunate that uh, about the time, time thing, but, uh, you know, I, I thought you had done enough material by that point as well. 
<laughs> what is, I mean, I thought it had been about a minute. Right. What is, what is the tattoo that your cousin has? What is the – or what are what are you trying to exactly say? If it, Even if it's attacking the face out of the neck. It says south side on it. And it's an animal? No, it says – it's the word south side. Wow. Like the south side of town, like southeast Boston, but it's south – like south side. What an awful so tattoo. So it's like – I know. I mean, I don't know him that well. Yeah, he's an right. annoying guy. He always has to stand, so he's facing with his neck – yeah. <laughs> the south side has to be facing south he has a at compass. all times. He has a compass neck. Well, people go to him for guidance. Yeah. Hey, hey Tom, can I see your neck, please? <laughs> I got to get out of here. <laughs> Which way to the north side? Um, that's interesting. And what city is he repping the south side of? Oxnard. Oxnard. <laughs> <laughs> the only wow. people that should be in oh my god so he's kind of uh almost representing camarillo right <laughs> it's actually representing breaking bad is what's going mm -hmm. on there's no way that guy's never done meth right south side tattoo on the neck uh i don't know oxnard is that really Possibly. your cousin uh yeah like distant mm. and he really he really sails through it tsa do i sail through no, no that I never guy with do. the neck I don't know if he's ever been on a plane. I don't really show up to family reunions anymore. Right. He, fly, yeah, he, flies, he flies southwest side. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe uh, there's, there's something to having a huge <laughs> tattoo on your neck and how it looks like it's attacking your face. You could write south side jokes or you can change what the tattoo actually says and explain it. You know, like right. if you can find some jokes in northwest or, or southwest even. Like, you know, do some airplane jokes, whatever. But it... Maybe go it deeper into that since it's based off something real. It's easy to, to, to make it sound realistic when you're talking about it. Yeah, all the stuff that we've talked about about the side of the neck I think is pretty funny. And since it really is south side, there's already a lot there. With yeah, the, yeah with and the, the stuff you did was seemed, you know, seemed from your point of view, which is yeah. you know, good. It's just that you know, it's, your point of view could confuse uh, uh, all of us uh, easily because – I, I, you're speaking as as if you, everyone thinks you're more ethnic than I think we think you are. Got it. Right? Is that what you were yeah, saying you earlier, not, Brian? Yeah. You, you did, so I, I don't look Middle Eastern. Not at all. I don't. Oh my god. I want to fly a tower. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Come on down Jewish. to find out what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> we get an audience of people in the belly room, and we just tell you the truth. So what, what, what is your you actual idiot. race again? What is it? <laughs> my, my father's Italian and my mother is three types of Hispanic. Yeah, that's wow. exact. You look Hispanic. You look like you don't. Yeah. yeah. Why do but you I think you look like that. a terrorist? Are you ashamed well, of your you work at Zanku well, Chicken or something? Well, I never. Well, I never get that for one thing, and then what? I have like all kinds of Persian and Middle Eastern guys come up to me, and they're like, "Oh, you look like you're Middle Eastern." Everybody that's has Persian and Middle Eastern guys coming up to them. <laughs> that has nothing to do with Middle Eastern. Yeah. I have Persian yeah. guys well, coming up to me, and they sound exactly like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good uh, in for them, you know, that they could say that to you. Yeah. So they'll they'll try it. Normally, they're just like, where do you want me to drive you to? <laughs> anyway, uh, don't feel bad. But you're yeah, not Middle Eastern. So yeah. If you need some confidence, talk to us after the show. We'll get you drunk. Maybe. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. Maybe, maybe now you found a, a kind of an area of more material is like uh, how, y how you think p people perceive you and, uh, you know, uh, how... Uh, I don't know and what how, I'm saying. And how that's <laughs> and no, how it's that's true. There's right. probably a lot there about being a Hispanic that gets confused for being Middle Eastern or vice versa or this or that, what you wish you were. And there just seems to be a lot of opportunity for you to get to talk about yourself by talking about that culture clash. But at the same time, that does seem, I know it's like a dress and a sweater, but it does seem a little bit Middle Eastern-y. It, it does seem like you Middle Eastern yeah. it up a little bit. There right? could be a bomb a under bit. there, the more you think about it. I mean, it's like a, that's like a, a, it is a sweater, but it could be a burqa if wrapped, <laughs> if wrapped a certain way around yeah. a certain body part. Yeah. Can we take off your shoes? To oh see my God. No, Patreon. No. Whoa. Melanie Baldonado. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. There thank she goes. You. It's Melanie B. Comedy on Twitter. Whoa. Jesus, Patriot. You're out of control yeah. tonight. Yeah. Do yeah. you have your, do you ever pay women so you can uh, look at their feet? Uh, yeah. What? 
kind of figured. Kind of figured. Hey, I was just watching Savages so today. So maybe you, you could give it Melanie you know, a nice you know offer. You know that movie Savages? There's a good scene of Selma Hayek with somebody massaging her feet. I just watched that today. Have you seen Savages? I, you know, I haven't Oliver, seen it. I, I was Oliver intrigued, Stone. and it got uh, it got bad reviews. Patriot, and, uh, is, is, Patriot, is there like a website that you can go to? Yeah, to... uh, WikiFeet. Oh, my God. Wiki feet? That's where I found Natasha Leggero. I found that she has a little curve on her toe. I found that on Wiki. Yeah, and then you mentioned it to her on this show, and she freaked out. And... <laughs> yeah, you know the story, the legend. Yeah, the, the legend. <laughs> All yeah. right, okay, okay, so power down. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... I love it. <laughs> How many do we do? We just get through as many as we can. Oh, my God. Well, then let's stop the fucking around the with, the, time with him in between acts. Put your hands together for Kyle Henson. Oh, beat. You know it seems the more we talk about it. When, when does the timer start? Okay. Don't ever sit in the corner again. Okay, baby. <laughs> People change when they move to Los Angeles. After only a couple of months, you know, I don't really have time to explain to you guys, nor do I really care about you. <laughs> but I'm gonna need you available all day on Thursday. <laughs> I'm from a town called Beaverton. People always ask me like, hey Kyle, what's Beaverton like? I'm like Thank you so much for asking. Uh, everybody wears plaid. We say hi to each other, and we drink bald eagle tears. We drink tears from a bald eagle, like logistically. How do you get a bald eagle to cry? And you could try it mentally, but they're majestic, like, kah, kah, flying like 99 feet above you, be like, fuck you, you're in danger. Like, you could do it physically. If you happen to catch a bald eagle, he's going to be freaking out his cage, his wings are going everywhere, he's like, nah. <laughs> That's pretty clever. It's clever to do animal noises at the same time yeah. as Brian's animal noise. It really blended together nicely. I thought it was, yeah. I thought you were really getting in some deep Michael Winslow shit, <laughs> and that you were making the cat noise and the. Yeah, that was weird. What was that? An eagle? Yeah, oh, it's a bear. It was not a bear. It was a bear. Yeah. The second one was a bear. Oh, okay. West Hollywood bear. Very angry bear. In fact, he seemed. Extra, Extra angry, angry tonight. Yeah. Um, fuck yeah, Kyle. Well, let me tell you the first thing I noticed was that you came out really confidently and the material said that you didn't give a fuck. That's what your material said. And then you started talking about how you're from Beaverton and we don't, we, we don't know why that's supposed to be funny. And then you're into the eagle tears and you're almost to something, I think, cool. And then you just fall into this act out to me. And it's just like, it's not a good impression of an eagle. Just going, Wah! and putting your hands out like that. And just going, Wah! like, that's not like people are going to be like, whoa, did you just see him transform? He took it to the next level. Did you just see this guy transform into an eagle in front of our eyes? It's like yeah, you so came out very aggressive. You know, just telling the, the audience whatever you said, I don't fucking care about you or anything. That immediately makes half the audience flinch up. Like, What's, why is that guy yelling at me? You right. Know I mean, it, it, and then so now you just put a huge wall that now you have to get over this wall that's unnecessary just to get him back into liking you and listening to you and like going, I'm on his side, I think. And then uh, the, the eagle tears, once you started talking about eagle, eagle tears, you just lost me. Because uh, it, like make believe shit, it has to be really fucking funny and silly. And, cause what, you, or I, I, I just personally just don't. I, 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 I was get looking lost for an answer on how you did get the tears. You don't answer it. It just flailed into an eagle impression. You start choking it out. Oh, that's what you said. There that was go. the thing. Yeah, the bear interrupted. Right. <laughs> oh, well, I, yeah. I don't know if choking out's the way to go. Doug, what do you think about this? What did you, what did you say? Well, uh, you know, as long as we're picking it apart. Um, the thing that jumped out at me was uh, the because th because I think overall he did he he I think he got the job done even after digging the hole of uh, what'd you say at the beginning what was the first part about uh, people changing uh, but no what was the mean thing you said to the audience oh I don't care about you not having enough time to explain it <laughs> yeah 
that's that could I think that could be fun under the right circumstances. Like if you had, you know, more of that sort of attitude to back it up. But after that, you sort of shifted gears to being what I what seemed like a, a nice guy. Like it wasn't all you didn't have. And again, we're only hearing a minute of it. But the part that I thought was uh, that jumped out at me was when you said people come up to me and they're like, hey, what's it like in Beaverton? And it's like no person's ever walked up to you and done that. <laughs> and, and it's just, you know, that's just, uh, you know, like. Uh, <laughs> but somebody's probably asked you the question. So, you know, I just say try to uh, not – the phrasing of people come up to me and say, like, why would that be the first thing somebody says to you? You know what I mean? Like, ever. So, <laughs> right. so like, uh, it just – the phrasing of it, I, the idea behind it's fine. It just – that just jumped out at me as, like, a uh, a weird way to put it. But then also the the voice and the jumping around was funny, though. Like I did, I did enjoy that aspect of it. So uh, that's the whole thing was an emotional roller coaster. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> now where, Beaverton, uh, where is that located? Oregon, Oregon. Right. And what's it like there? <laughs> 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 what's the, what is the coolest thing about Beaverton? Uh, Nike, Nike World Headquarters. Uh-huh. And we have uh, Nutria, which are like rats with really big teeth, and they hiss at you. Nutria? It sounds like something you put in a drink to lose weight. Yeah. <laughs> Nutria might cause dizziness, <laughs> diarrhea. Rat face. You should talk about that because I, I don't know anything about that. And you could probably some, find something funny in that. Especially if Definitely. it's exclusive to where you're from. And yeah. Do you have anything about the Nike headquarters being there? Uh, I got hit by Because I think you should R8. just do it. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. You got what? Uh, Phil Knight hit me with his R8. The pedestrian. His R A, R eight Audi. Oh. I was driving a car. Did Nobody you get hurt? Car. No, I just jumped on his hood. Did you sue the fuck out of him? I should have. You, what? You didn't. Yeah. What did you What did you get out of it? Like, did he at least give you a pair of shoes? A Christmas bonus. What? Yeah. You were working and for him at the time. Uh, I was working for. This AT&T. goes deep. Yeah. <laughs> you were working where? I was working for AT and T, like giving their employees cell phones and plans, and I was on campus. I was like, what's going on? Wow. Oh, you Chewbacca, went, you Chewbacca went Winslow on us again. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Chewbacca was that guy? <laughs> uh-oh, Skippy Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear your car driving by one more time? I liked it. <laughs> oh, that's different than the first one. The first one was definitely Chewbacca, and he didn't want to do it again because he was embarrassed. Do the first one again. <laughs> no, now you're just doing Chewbacca. <laughs> Fuck it. Kyle. You got to just relax. <laughs> That's Kyle Henson, everybody. He's Thank at you, I Kyle. Got Kyle. I, I like love it. Kyle. I like him. The first one was Chewbacca, I'm telling yeah. you. Then he tried too hard. He was, you know, he's got to just get his thing going. Like, he was trying a lot of different things in that in that one minute. And uh, I think he's got some ideas and I, some funny sounds. I'm just saying, if anybody's going to do an eagle impression up here, make it Don Henley. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's snap. an eagle joke for uh, the six Eagles fans in the crowd. Put your hands together for your next comedian. It's Aaron Marsh, everybody. Hey, guys. I'm going to let you know right off the top a secret about me, and that's I've never experienced true love. And I know this because I have friends who love drugs. <laughs> And I want to experience love the way they experience drugs, you know? Like, I want to look at a girl and be like, I would give up my teeth for you. <laughs> you know, like, like, I want to experience, like, love the way my mom experienced drugs. <laughs> I know, that's selfish. I, I just never want to be left alone in a house full of SpaghettiOs ever again. Oh. And that's because SpaghettiOs taste like fucking neglect. And Chef Boyardee knows this because he's on the can like. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. With you all weekend, I'm as cold as your mom's love. Is that my minute? Pretty close. All right. I'm Aaron Marsh. Thank you, guys. Fuck yeah. Aaron Marsh, killing it. Thank you, guys. Good job. Thank you. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what you do with a minute. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah. yeah. That Chef Boy RD shit was hilarious. Yeah, Thank you. yeah, it's a great call. 
And yeah, I think you had it from the very beginning. What was the first thing? Was uh, tr oh yeah, the giving up your teeth that's for cool. love. I mean, that's just great, man. Thank you. Man. And yeah. I think that there's more that could be added to that before you get to the chef boy RD thing. Like, there's more examples. Like, uh, you know, I want to, you know, I want a girl that after the teeth, you're already in it, so you can yeah. tag it some more. You know, I want a girl that you know, makes me throw up every night, you know, like you can really <laughs> yeah, just totally. stay in that re weird pocket of what drug side effects are. Or what yeah. if, what if you, a girl that really, Oh shit. Well, Here we go. <laughs> a, a, oh, a, shit. Girl, a girl where you have withdrawal. If you can't have sex with her again, I've, like heroin withdrawal. That might be more you than me, buddy. I don't know. So wait, what? You start stalking her and stuff. Yeah, you you want to, you want to, you want to put no, your you needle in her arm. Her. <laughs> yes. Is that part. what happens with loving you? Well, I'm just saying I'm using the heroin withdrawal like mm -hmm. with a girl. I got to say that I, I got to give it up to all the comedians that come on this show to, to stand there and do their act without even acting like that guy standing next to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a challenge in and of itself. Totally. Uh, but yeah, I thought I, I really liked it. I, th it, you know, I, you can't argue with the success of uh, every punchline got laughs yeah. and it built to a, a applause break on the. Uh, it's funny that uh, people will just be listening to this because the uh, Chef Boyardee arms were really funny. There's a video yeah. up there, yeah. buddy. I There's know, but video. I'm saying it's also a podcast, popular podcast. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and uh, some people won't get to see the shrug. Right. Uh, right. But they will remember that he does that on the can. He yeah. Really, he really does have that kind of gesture. Yeah. And uh, sort of like he doesn't want to be there. <laughs> like, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like he was an unknown. And maybe there's more to that. You know, it could all be added sure. about how, like, it seems like they offered him just enough money at the time like oh, we need we need a chef to be on this can he's like oh f how much are you paying me oh fuck and they just took the picture of him yeah. doing that it's like i guess i'll do it oh wait we already got it you're done you know i don't know you but know who was two. almost up for that gig <laughs> who swedish chef Berkey, 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 Berkey. Chef. Yeah, that's another uh, place I thought you were going to uh, go with it. Not, not necessarily like it's the greatest place to go with it, but uh, <laughs> I do love... Uh, Is throwing the cans around? I do love a Swedish chef impression. Um, <laughs> Did you have Mr. Food where you're from? Anybody have Mr. Food? Mr. You, body you, or Mr. Food? You had Mr. Food. The guy I had that Mr. Would Mr. Body. Richard, si Richard Simmons looking guy with his body like tattooed all over his and like, he insides. And he was the cook guy? No, Wait, with, the, with the muscle suit, right? Yeah, where he had the full suit. muscle suit? Yeah. Slim, Slim good, good body. body. Yeah. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. Devil's rejects knows That's what's right. going on. <laughs> um, yeah, we, I, we, I, we had this guy called Mr. Food that uh, would show you something how to cook, and then at the end of every segment, every night, he would go, ooh, it's so good. <laughs> what? That's <laughs> creepy. Yeah, it's very creepy. Um, Aaron, you killed. Great job. Thank what is this Twitter yeah, handle? Nice Aaron job. is 5FT2. Five foot two, my height. Wow, that is a really bad Twitter handle, man. Aaron is All five right. foot two. Foot spelled F T. Aaron is A A R O N. Aaron is five F T. What's wrong with your name? Was it taken? It is. Oh, oh it's a famous, a famous musician. Aaron ever, Marsh. Did you ever look for Marsh things like Marshmallow or like other? I don't know. Uh, you could add a number. Marshman. <laughs> or try Aaron uh, Neville. See if that's <laughs> see if that's taken. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Aaron or Marsh. Aaron Brockovich. Yeah, he had very good job, Aaron. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. great. I, I, I think he's been on the show once or twice before, yeah. and he always seems to do really well. He's good stage presence Yeah, everything. Gets it. Yep. I see Aaron doing a lot of spots around town. Put your hands together for your next comedian. His name is Kyle Shore. <laughs> Hi, I'm a former Marine. I went to Afghanistan. Clap for me. I'm a veteran. Uh, that's great, because if you don't laugh, you're a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad as a no guy. Uh, I went to Afghanistan, though. I didn't kill anybody, which I'm thankful about. But at the same time, I'm kind of upset I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> Hear me out. Okay. Not because I want to kill anybody, just because I trained so long to do it. For like three years, I trained to do that. And I get there like, oh, no, no, no. Win their hearts and minds. Then why'd you teach me to kill people for three years? It's like trying to play football for like three years of your life and you get really good at football. And then for the, like the big game, they tell you, all right, cool, you know how to play football? All right, awesome, we're gonna play baseball. <laughs> and you have to wear all your football equipment. <laughs> and if you fail, you are, yeah, you're, uh, I don't know, terrorist, sure. 
Uh, what else? Uh, I don't know. That's about all I had really planned. It was like, what, 40 seconds? That's or? 51 seconds. All right, cool. Thank yeah, you. Um, you talked a little faster than you planned to, probably. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. yeah but, it, we, but, you know, all the words were uh, intelligible. Right. When you said that doesn't happen with football, like training for three years and then not getting in, like, it made oh, me think, yeah. it made me think that, uh, you know, it's like Rudy without the special happy ending. It's like, what if Rudy just ended and he never gets into anything? <laughs> that's what that's like is, or at right. least that's what you're trying to paint the picture as, is training all that time for the big right. dance and not having to get it done at all. Right. Yeah. So I think there's room to slide some a Rudy reference in yeah. there. after you go, Or maybe before or after the baseball thing or the football thing or during or after it. You can write it down later if you want, but uh, <laughs> I'll forget. Or it'll be on audio or video. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's fun that you're talking about. Uh, you know that. I don't know if it's a shame you didn't get to kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's obviously going to be many more things you have to say about the experience. Right. Like, uh, and but then are, are you going to have uh, in your comedy, is there other topics you talk about as well? Oh, uh, in the Marine Corps? For that, you mean? No, no, I'm saying other than your military background, do you have other stuff you talk about, or is it all Not from that perspective? All, it's all from that perspective pretty much right now. Uh, you know, I, I liked what I heard, so uh, I'd, I'd want to hear more of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you can find a way to make that shit funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, this is what I thought. I thought he was when he talked about football. I thought he was going to say like like football with no tackling. I didn't when he, when we went the direction of the baseball. That kind of threw me off. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of interesting to know what one person he'll never have to please has to yeah. say about. <laughs> yeah. Did it? Did it? Patriot? Did it turn you off or did your battery just run out for a second? <laughs> you know I'm fully charged. <laughs> um, but yeah, but the the Patriot aside, because he should be he should have your back in all things because you're both you both fight for our country and our rights yeah both yeah true patriot. so you might want to apologize patriot yeah. to a true I patriot we have a real patriot on stage <laughs> yeah. not just he didn't ride a bus to <laughs> <laughs> afghanistan <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> can you imagine just dropping <laughs> off the iron patriot in iraq or something like that oh just, my god like having him walk the streets i'm all, already looking for a bus that goes to culver city Oh, yeah, it's just as bad. Oh, thank God there's no routes that achieve that. <laughs> You're going to need a transfer pass, Patriot. <clears throat> I'll go all the way down Santa Monica. Santa but Mon anyway, okay. um, yeah. I thought that was good. Yeah, fun yeah. times. Keep it oh. up. Keep it thank up. You. Kyle Shore, there he goes. He's Thanks, on Twitter, Kyle. at Baked as Cake. Baked as Cake. Wait, what was your rank, Kyle? Uh, Lance, Corporal. Lance Corporal Short? Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to make it funnier. Wasn't that Captain uh, Short? Wasn't that uh, Polly's uh, Polly Shore's name and in, in the army now? Lance what? Corporal. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Lance Corporal Shore. <laughs> All right. In the <laughs> army now, jokes. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, Shore is your last name though. You're not part of the Shore Comedy Store Empire. Nope. nope. All right. Nope. Or well, maybe good luck. he is. Oh, here we go. You I might be able to convince guy. them you're part of the family somehow, long lost or something. Oh, sweet. I'm happy about this next one. Yeah, this is a fun guy. His name's Joshua Myrowitz, everybody. Autistic Thunder. How's it going, guys? <laughs> My name's Joshua Myrowitz. I have Asperger's or Asperger's. <laughs> Asperger's, which is a high-functioning form of autism. If you don't know what that is, it's like being retarded, except I'm smart. <laughs> so feel free to laugh. Don't get weird on me. I'll be weird for you. <laughs> Luckily, I have very loving parents as well. I live with them. Go figure. My dad always has something to say to me. Uh, You're a comedian. You're more like a vampire. You sleep all day, and then you go out at night and suck. <laughs> I'm Joshua Myrowitz. Thank you. Holy shit. Action packed. Wow. Fuck yes. Thunder and lightning. God damn it. That might have been the best minute I've had so far this year. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I bring love. Bring, bring the microphone. 
Aut- Sorry. Autistic Thunder, wow. Joshua Meyer. That, that was am- that was great, Josh. You couldn't have done a better job in one yeah. minute. That Thanks. was perfect. And uh, you, you just look great. I mean, for those of you that don't know Josh, he's been doing comedy for, what, three years now? F- about five years, actually. Really? Here in L.A.? Five uh, years? Thri- hanging H- out how here How much at the at comedy three store? H- three years. Three years, uh, Hanging right. around here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, huge, huge, huge transformation in yeah. three years to insociable... <laughs> and unfunny to I- able to be around in public and obviously hilarious. Thanks. So I mean, it's just so awesome to get to see. We've been friends for those three years, sort of like a somewhat of a mentor relationship. Josh used to wear those handicapped shoes where you'd have to have Velcro them <laughs> shut. <laughs> and I like I knew, Velcro and I, shoes. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, well. I told him about Do you the really. Sh- I think I was I the mean, one that told you about the shorts, though. You used to wear shorts. Yeah, like, I, like in the winter time. Yeah. like ten degrees, you would wear t-shirt short. too. Yeah, a t-shirt and shorts. I thought you liked dolphin shorts. <laughs> dolphin shorts. <laughs> Basically, weren't that the kind? Uh, I don't know. I had issues like that I had friends help me work through. And Tony. you have totally <laughs> evolved, and and you keep such an open mind. You really are smart as fuck, and it's unbelievable to watch your growth over the last few years. And a killer fucking job tonight. Just keep doing what you're doing. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Thanks, man. What kind of smart stuff do you do? Uh, you pro- I've actually met him w- before a movie at the Arclight before, and I will always go into movies, movies, movies. Yeah, he's I a mo- he's a movie monster. Doug. Yeah, this is the real movie. I've taken a lot of information. This guy's a freak of nature. Right? Yeah, you know a lot about movies. Video games, comic books. Those. That's the height of my autistic hyperfocus. <laughs> that's what they call it. An autistic hyperfocus. That's what they call it. Yeah. I'd say that's one thing I would say is watch out for is that like, uh, I, you know, it's I know it's um, uh, you're not. How do I put this? <laughs> What? Inherent. Oh. <laughs> Good guess, Jerry, but no cigar. Uh, Somebody really went for it on that one. <laughs> I'm just but listen, seriously. Inherent. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that word would have applied. No, what I'm trying to get at is you said at one point you said uh, you live with your parents. Go figure. Yeah. And I'd say, why put yourself in a, like, a, I'm talking like an old Jewish man kind of corner? Uh, if you don't have to, or is that just really come naturally to you? That is yeah, he naturally. always. Do you really? Yeah. You're not around me. Are like know. Catskills comics, like your idols or something? No, or? no, they were my dad's <laughs> idols. Yeah. Anything, okay. So you, so you heard a lot time. of that kind of. More or less, be also raised yeah. in Howard Stern so shit. And your and your parents are both like super duper Jewish, right? Because no, I, we're not religious, but they. But, act super. but they're but your impressions. I've heard impressions of both of them. Do a quick your mom. Listen, look at you in that dress coat. You look like a, yeah, broad shoulders. They are sexua- accentuating them. You look like okay, a young okay, Rock that's Hudson. Okay, that's enough. That's Whoa. enough. That's enough. <laughs> sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry, Jesus. sorry. You yeah, look like a young Rock Hudson. That's a perfect example. You got go figure from her or from one, one, one of, of someone, well, 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 someone much be, older than you. It could be anybody because do, your, do a, another quick impression of your dad real quick. You're going to be the next John <laughs> Apatow! I mean, is that not like a full-blown <laughs> rabbi? I mean, they, they, they're such both power Jews. Yeah. It's you incredible. Too, right? I think so. Yeah. Is that the guy that picks you up every night in the van? <laughs> I, think, I think a special needs taxi. That's but a, you know yeah. what I mean. You're smart and you like things that are modern and uh, don't talk uh, old, old, old-timey old way. Yeah, so just I, I, unless, you know, that could be part of the fun of your act is that you say cr- crazy things like that. Mm-hmm. But it just, uh, I thought you had a really good set in that one to me. And it was a throwaway, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But that was the only little, like, bump to me was that, like, you know, go figure. It's just kind of like, uh, I don't know. So, uh, my, so, so People still you. laugh, though, because it is funny that you would say go figure after I live with my parents. It, didn't even it know rubs us. me the wrong way when I hear it. Like, it makes you go, ugh. Or something like that, you know that that typical. It's just like it's just not how people it. talk now. I, I don't have think no idea. you need it, and I don't think you need it to reestablish yourself either. So I really, I'm, I'm no more go figure. I would say yeah, so. I mean, it's just whole. like any time no you problem. notice but also it, don't it, it, if it's not getting a bang, unless unless you it want never. to. But I think that's established in your thing anyway that you're sort of still old school man child. Yeah. Right. Well, that's the thing. If you get into that at, at all about if you you know if you're going to get into the parents and then the, and their influence on you, then then saying stuff like that makes perfect sense. Like maybe leave go figure in 
and yeah. but point out that that's something that uh, you say because you got it from your parents. Yeah, I never not at least get a chuckle, and I didn't even realize I said it all. Cats go like I, I thought I had my own voice on that one. No, it, <laughs> it is your own voice. Trust oh, okay. me. Yeah, <laughs> saying go figure. You're right. Oh. It's hard not to say that, and not sound like Walter Matthau and the Sunshine <laughs> Boys. <laughs> all right. Josh, great fucking job. Love you, Josh. Josh. Put your hands together for Joshua Meyerowitz, everybody. Come on. That's at Autistic Thunder on Twitter. <laughs> Spelled how it sounds. Autistic Thunder. I was kind of sad. He there. owns it. I was sad there at the end when he said he thought it was his own voice. I know. But that's what we're here for, to point yeah. out things yeah. that uh, you can then really worry about for no reason. Because <laughs> don't change a thing, man. That's it. Don't listen to us. We're just yeah. the man trying to hold you down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's and I'll it. meet you over at Astro Berger's later. <laughs> <laughs> you allergic to that one, Ron yeah, Brian? That, was that one. <laughs> that joke made you sneeze like yeah. a cat. I know. <laughs> what was oh, that my sneeze? minute's up. My minute's up. Um, Go ahead. Was that like, were you trying to not sneeze first? Like, what happened, right? What was that noise? I was trying not to sneeze at first. Why? <laughs> it made them like the, the total pro. <laughs> it sounded like a tiny little baby animal sneeze. Oh, the, no. What does the uh, Patriot do when he has to sneeze? Uh, Just shit his pants. <laughs> 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 it sounds like a modem. I'm glad I've been lucky so far. I haven't had a runny nose to deal with, but I'm not. I'm trying to take care of myself. Yeah, right? it's cold and flu season, buddy. Yeah, well, it's pretty hot. Take it's care like of yourself. Right yeah, right. It's really it's earthquake. It's true. That's one enemy the Patriot can't beat is the common cold. <laughs> yeah. so silly. Your next comedian is Jerron Horton, everybody. <laughs> wow, he's right there. Holy shit. Like uh, my favorite character in Mortal Kombat is Liu Kang. He's a, uh, like a Bruce Lee dude. He can kick, shoot fire out his hands. He's a beast. My least favorite character, fucking Sonya Blade. She's just a white woman with a ponytail. Like she has the powers of a woman who just got cheated on. Like she can punch and kick. She doesn't belong in that game. I didn't even have that growing up, though. Like My mom bought me Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu's just like Mortal Kombat, except for Luke Kang. You play with Shaquille O'Neal, and he throws flaming basketballs. Like, I feel like the creators of that game should have just put Sonya in Shaq Fu and called it NBA Away Games 95. That's it. <laughs> I got time. It's good. Fuck yeah. Wait, was that a sports joke at the end? Would I, I, a, I had no a, idea what that meant. It's a sports video game 90s hybrid joke. What that is? It's all that you got to know a little bit about Mortal Kombat to right. truly get it. I was com completely lost. That yeah. made no sense to me. I thought of though for her special skills, you could the uh, the girl that's has special skills. You could say like uh, keying your car door or something like that. <laughs> okay. You know, some shit from that. Car I thought of Carrie Underwood in that song right <laughs> a, right away, where she fucks up that guy's car. She's like, "You're never gonna cheat again." And it's like, well, maybe he won't, but maybe he'll pick. You know, women like that might not beat up his car when shit goes down, you know? Like, sh she's a special kind of crazy. Right. Because that is still against the law, young lady. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no breaking the law. Destroy somebody's property. Um, but, yeah, I got a little lost at the beginning on uh, on some of the references. Like, when you said, when you were like, fuck, what's her name? What's her name? Sonya Blaze. Yeah, when you are like, fuck Sonya Blaze. I think the whole audience was kind of like, oh, what's, why is it so mad at her? She seems, sounds like a nice name. Um, but uh, but then once you got into it, I mean, I just enjoyed the whole, uh, you know, kind of uh, being so specific about a topic and also just the smooth delivery of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It was you definitely know? smooth delivery, which There's made nothing, it easy. nothing to dislike, really. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah. I just, guess. Uh, just make sure you hold yeah, our hands you a little bit more with references we might not Yeah, but, but did, did anything make sense enough for you to... Make you laugh though. You said you liked it, but like I can't even think of one thing that made sense in that because I don't know what he's talking about. The video game football yeah, thing. Yeah. I have he no idea. He clearly lost some of the dumber yeah. audience members. Hey. <laughs> and other people were like, I'm more interested in what he's, I'll figure out what he's talking about. Eventually it all made sense to me. But yeah, it needs stronger punchlines. But I'm just saying that I thought that uh, he's clearly not, uh, doesn't seem nervous or any of Oh, also no, no. Has, Delivery. Has a point perfect. of view. Delivery perfect, just didn't understand it. Yeah. Did you understand it? It was it was a little bit wibbly wobbly to me. I could per I was along with you on the ride completely. I could understand. I, I liked the pacing. I just think that it's 
it's you're putting a lot there's a lot of math to it there's a lot of you have, you got to know Sonya Blade you got to know NBA you got to know Shaq you got to know Shaq Fu to know why that's funny you got to sort of have something against white women to call them always getting cheated on ones with ponytails <laughs> Some well, yeah, I said experience. that's what her powers were, but I, right. I but that her <laughs> they powers could, they were. could just punch and kick. She didn't have a fin- Sonya Blade doesn't have some kind of crazy move. She's she does. shitty, but I I like that. But what is the move? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> I I don't really honestly I don't know. She does was anybody a police officer. She was Blade's a police officer. Oh, look at this! Look at this video game nerd. <laughs> yeah. No, who is it? She does like a front handspring and grabs you with her feet. Exactly. Oh, she's wow. a feet grabber. That, that, that sounds like Patriot's a dream. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Patriot. What would you do to Sonya Blade? I don't, I don't even know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like she has feet. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. But she I, wants I, to put around your neck. Yeah, I take a look at her toes. Would you let a woman, like, uh, you know, choke you out with her feet on your neck? Uh, I just kind of like to look at them. Like, when a girl's naked walking around, that's a beautiful thing. Just barefoot and everything. Yeah, yeah. You, about, you know where to look. I don't need to do pinky <laughs> things with them. It's not about that. It's just a beautiful thing to look at. So if a girl's completely naked walking in front of you, you're going to take at least, what, how many seconds to look at her feet? I'll, I'll, look, I'll take a look all the way from bottom to top. But the feet is what you really want to yeah, talk it's, about. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's say a girl's standing in front of you completely naked for 10 seconds. How much are you giving to boobs, face, vagina, and feet? Well, probably uh, 40% feet. Whoa! Whoa! See, that's a what lot. What the fuck? Now, that is Saved a us lot. some time starting <laughs> with feet. I don't really care about the rest five, of it. We got a 15. Now, now, Everybody's negotiating way is, lower than you. Feet is one. I don't even that, care if a girl has feet. That's still... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I said 40. There's still 20% for the pouch, 20% for the breast. 20% for the... Um, wow, you're really good with the numbers. Do you ever it's think almost like you thought about it prior to tonight. <laughs> Do you ever think if you didn't call it a pouch, you might get more vagina? <laughs> yeah. I don't mind if there's little hair on it. It doesn't have to be shaved. Are you talking about the feet? The pouch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. I love how Jaren's just hanging out during yeah. all of this. Like, whatever. It's fucking Patriot, man. Sta- stage time. Stage time. Uh, yeah, stage that's time. time. Um, but I, I, I like him. I want to see more. Totally. Yeah. Jaron, great job. Thank He's you. at Jaron Horton on Twitter. J-E-R-R-O-N Horton. Uh, let's, let's see if we can knock out another one. All right, here. let's do one. Oh. Put your hands together for Dan Lawler. That seems right. like a new name. That's a new name. Well, that was the guy that was just telling us about. How's it going, guys? I'm Dan Lawler. I would totally fuck Sonya Blade. Um, so, uh, how you guys doing? Fuck Sonya Blade. Yeah, I will. I will. I want to. Guys, I'm not, uh. I'm not sure why it's called a glory hole, but it sure is fun peeing through such a little target. You know what I mean? <laughs> Guy on the other side didn't agree. Uh, but, I mean, give it up for the comedy store bathrooms. They're top-notch. They're great. Um, so, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe you can help me. Is it still considered fingering if you use your thumb? Or did I just thumb that gas station attendant down the street? Guys, free juicy fruit either way. That's a W. That's a win. Um, so, I go to church a lot, as you might have guessed. Uh, but I had, some, I had some trouble the other day. This woman was freaking the fuck out. She's freaking out. Like, in the middle of the sermon, she starts freaking out. So I had to say to her, I'm like, look, lady, relax. All right? The Pope has said that breastfeeding in church is totally fine. Sit back. Read your psalms. I'm almost full. <laughs> Guys, I'm Dan Lawler. Oh. Jesus Christ. This guy's a fucking machine. How long have you been doing stand-up, Dan? Um, I started, like, seven years ago, but I, put, I took, like, two off. Right. Yeah. I could tell. You live here in L.A.? Yeah. Yeah, ten years. Wow, how cool. What else do you do? Um, I write a little bit. I act. I was in Little Caesars commercials. That was neat. Uh, oh, you were that guy in Little Caesars that was jerking somebody off? Yeah. <laughs> it was part of their big ad Sideways. campaign. It was, it was really big in Chicago, I think. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, I, I really... I, I was trying to remember the part I liked the most, but I liked it, I liked it all. But there was one line in particular that I thought was really funny. Um, the slurp at the end was I wasn't crazy about that but uh, you know that's just something you gotta learn in time right yeah great right. stage presence though. yeah, yeah how yeah. often do you get up a lot yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple days a week yeah. Um, yeah you know to, uh, I try to do like three four days a week nice yeah. that good yeah thing. it was just uh, 
you know, came out with the uh, line about the uh, what had happened earlier with the thing because he was the one in the audience that was uh, knew, I, was, knew I everything was about right. thinking about Sonya Blade's butt that whole time, really. Mm. Heck yeah. Yeah, and then that's mm. funny that he got picked next after we had that conversation with him, and uh, you know, you incorporated that, and it was a fun opening thing to say. Yeah. And that that uh, Sonya Blade thing was good. One could even call that a mortal callback. <laughs> oh. oh. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm in the Writers Guild. Um, uh, my health insurance number is one. Okay. Oh, good. Dan, um, that's fucking hilarious, man. I hope you come back. I mean, yeah, I would like to. It. I would definitely like to hear more. I would like to hear more, also more realistic stuff too. Yeah. You know, like the yeah. the whole like stuff is cute and fun and it's right. all positive and it works and good for this and it works. format, but it also right. helps if we're just given some new premises that are able to be worked on. You know what I mean? Like one yeah. pocket. So hopefully, you come back, share. A bit that's a little bit longer than you know seven seconds. Yeah. And bang a lot of it. my stuff is like that and sort of schizophrenic and, and fast. Right. I'm trying to work on some mm -hmm. some longer bits. Is that what you would do? How how much time do you think you have altogether total over seven years of doing it a couple of days a week? Um, I mean, I've been back on it for a little over a year now. So, um, and I had a lot of mustache jokes, so I shaved those all off my face. So I lost that. Um, but uh, your mustache is so. back, by the way. I, I don't right. know how fast your right. facial hair grows, but uh, yeah, you have a full beard right now. <laughs> uh, Wait, you, you normally have a crazier mustache? Yeah, like I had I had a big old you oh, know, handlebar you for a minute. Oh, shit? Yeah, yeah, a bunch of silver like jokes Raleigh and shit fingers. like that. Oh, I'm so glad you don't have that anymore. Yeah. I'm telling you, keep, keep, keep the, the be beard. Keep the beard going. <laughs> I think gonna Comedy Central is going to give you an hour in the next month. <laughs> right. Uh, because they love the beard right now. Yeah. Right. I'm just jealous because I can't grow facial hair and they keep passing <laughs> me by. Anyway, um, uh, no. You really think that's why? No, it's not. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> good job, man. Dan Lawler <laughs> at the it? Dan Lawler. Yeah, good job, man. Woo! This is the part of the show where we get into our two regulars. We have two lovely ladies that have been on the show since its inception. They always do a brand new minute every single week, and we get to watch them grow over 34 weeks. This week will be no different. Uh, going first tonight, uh, you know her from the Kill Tony podcast. Her name is Sarah Weinshank, everybody. Here she is. <laughs> I told myself I'm not Boom. Who's eating all these rice cakes? <laughs> Anyone ever gotten full off of a rice cake? How many rice cakes does it fucking take to get full? What's misleading about rice cakes is the word cake. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't need to be there. Right? I have a lot of assumptions based on this. I'm gonna assume that this is gonna be fucking good, and it's not good. <laughs> Rice cakes are not great. Another question is what the fuck happened to romaine and iceberg lettuce? Do they still exist? Can't just get a cob or a Caesar anymore. It's gone. Just kale and arugula now, guys. Also, in case you were wondering, quiche is no longer a thing. It's been replaced with the frittata. That's it in my food trend update. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's 58 seconds. You got this thing down. This is like your third or fourth Jesus. week in a row staying right in that pocket of, I mean, I guarantee you, you have to have, I know for a fact, just in the past month, you have at least four or five killer minutes on food alone. And that's a run. <laughs> if you're doing a 15, 20 or longer set, I mean, that's a great thing to have up your sleeve. You could close with it. You could open with it. You could establish yourself. You could do it in the middle. You can do anything you want. I think you're treating this regular spot exactly how it should be treated by staying in the pocket and stretching out awesome things, and I think this one's no different. I love the rice cake yeah, thing. Yeah, you gave me a snot rocket right at the beginning, too. That was the yeah. fastest you got me into the snot rocket. Yeah, and you, and, and you had me right away, too, because if you don't know, Sarah has that established style of telling you what annoys her and it's always little things that you sort of really don't think about like the fact that rice cakes are basically inedible super light not really fulfilling Discs. they sort of seem good when you're at the grocery store and you're hungry and you buy them and then you're you p go to put it away you pull it out of the bag and it's just like nothing it's like so light and you realize there's probably no nothingness to it and yeah. and the fact that they do call it a cake which is normally delicious covered in frosting sweet yeah. flavorful to say the least 
And Are you supposed it, to put something on those? Are you supposed to put peanut butter or jelly on them? What, what no, you you're supposed to eat them just as normal, and then you could put little <laughs> stupid things on. You could also talk about that, the shit that you can, you're can. you supposed to add with. Like, Dress like, it like, up. Yeah, like the back <laughs> of the <laughs> rice cake packages has other uh, recipes. Like, put some fucking, like, like iceberg lettuce on it. You know, it could be yeah. it could be like a yeah. callback or something. Raisins. But whatever. Like raisins. Kind of raisin thing going. Yeah. Raisins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I like quiche. What now? What do I have to say now instead of quiche when I go to the restaurant? No quiche. That's out. What's frittata? Trending out? Frittata. Yeah. Frittata. Yeah. Frittata. Yeah. Frittata, yeah. But I like the. <laughs> I just never thought of before about how they're cheating with the word cake. Like you really pointed yeah. out, like yeah. how 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 fucked up that is. And uh, I thought another thing you you could maybe throw in there is like, it, but it's uh, you know that doesn't happen with pie. You know that anybody's saying hey, try these right. health pies. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you that's know? true. Right. That's a that's, that's a great brand one. new organic health pies. You guys, right. all or the pie you want. <laughs> or this. It just cake. doesn't taste anything like pie. Yeah. That's hilarious. There's yeah. no there's no kale candy bar. There's no. Fucking there yeah. should be. Dude, um, well, like iceberg and like remains like poor man's yeah. salad now. Right. There's actually Which no yeah. nutrients <laughs> in it, or, right? Isn't it like 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 iceberg lettuce has nothing positive yeah, really it in takes it at away. all? That and yeah. celery, just you're burning calories while intaking nothing. Right. It's actually more of a workout to chew it than you end up in the <laughs> negative. Shit. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you're covering it. Great job. I yeah, mean, that's that killer awesome. stuff. Yeah. You fucking awesome. rock. Fun. She's on Twitter at Princess Shank, S H E N K. So that's at Princess Shank. I, I'm so proud of her. Yeah, it's amazing. Like that's just she. I would definitely pay money to see her now. I would love to see 15 minutes of yeah, her. Yeah, it's. She's been on all 34 shows. Uh, no, she's been on uh, most 29. Of them. Yeah, maybe? most of them. Yeah, and and a new minute every time, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, she's she's got probably you should have her do a longer set somewhere. Yep, we're about well. to announce that just after this next. Oh! Uh, your final comedian. She's been with us the longest. Uh, she dropped out of college because her first comedy spot was here on Kill Tony, and she fell in love with stand-up comedy. She's the one and only Kimberly Congdon. Everybody, <laughs> closing it out, bringing it. Something about Hello. I read a story where a lady got mad and chopped her husband's penis off because he said he was leaving. And the only thing I could think of was how good was that penis? <laughs> she literally could not part from it. He was like, I'm out of here, you're fucking nuts. She's like, that's fine, you can go. But the dick's staying here. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if she like, she loved it so much she literally wanted custody of the dick? Like, she went to court, and the judge is like, well, ma'am, what is your reasoning for wanting partial custody of this penis? Is someone dying back yeah, there? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Whoever you are, control yourself. <laughs> Just get a grip. Why do you want partial custody of this penis? She's like, well, listen, I've raised it. I've watched it grow. I d it's not that I... W you can live with it, but I should have it on weekends and holidays. That's it. Thank you. Slaughter wow. fest. Again, 59.88 seconds. Wow. It's like a fucking, it's like a joke at this point. That was great. Very well written. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I man. don't blame you, though, for lashing out at that weird laugh. That was was, that, right. was that real? Was that a real laugh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, just oh, okay. let it out or do whatever you need to <laughs> yeah, do next, next time. time. Or run walk out, out of run the room outside, and yeah. never come back. Uh, <laughs> that was unbearable. Yeah, that was Whatever really you weird. need to do to make sure that never happens again, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, Stop now breathing. it's just a regular thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, we've just, already just, been through just this. Let it That's out. No, she laughs you're, you're, like that. no, her regular laugh is unbearable. It's all the same thing, but just let it out. Whatever that squealing <laughs> thing is, that's yeah. high pitched. I hear. Separate your laughter and water drinking activities. Yeah. If that's the problem. I heard that noise on Blackfish. Blackfish when they separate the kids from their parents. <laughs> Kim Congdon, you fucking destroyed. Yeah, that yeah, was awesome. Job. The, the ladies um, of Kill Tony, bring hey, can it. Can I in. say something real quick? I think it's a, a disturbing trend with these women cutting the penises off. I mean, we all know about <laughs> the, we all know about the John Bobbitt story, but I would have thought it would have ended after that. Th this stuff is still going on, huh? Yeah, I guess. It's terrible. <laughs> Do you know where this one happened at? Chopping Dicks. I was Googling today. Yeah. Some weird shit. Oh, it was in Chopping Dicks, Tennessee? <laughs> I just Googled. <laughs> <laughs>
I okay, so I read somewhere and someone said you could just think of the most fucked up things and you can Google and someone's done it and I was like, hmm. And I googled chopping oh, off a man's dick. This is a comedy tip. writing tip right here. <laughs> you see That's the man with two smart. dicks? You see that yet? There's a man with two dicks yes, and they I both have. can get hard and he's fucked at uh, people <laughs> at the same time like both holes. Oh my know. god. He can Jackie smack two at a time. Jackie yeah. smack. Wow. Jackie smack it. You already have a name for that? Yeah. <laughs> the Jackie smack attack. Kim Congdon, great <laughs> job. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Follow her on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon. C O N G D O N. Good job. Fuck yeah, that yeah. was awesome. Good. Good. Man, the ladies killed it tonight. Yeah, so the big announcement is that Kill Tony is coming to the La Jolla Comedy Store Ooh, for its first ever road, road gig. Trip. And the entire crew is coming with us Sarah Weinshank, Kimberly Congdon, Josh Martin, the Iron Patriot. Brian Redband and I all going down to San Diego. That's March 1st, a big, huge Saturday night show. For months we've been at being asked, when is Kill Tony coming on the road? This is our big first huge test This run. is our beta test. Yeah, big so, time. Yeah, because we always start taking this to your city. Yeah. So also, if you own a comedy club and you're listening to this right now, get a hold of me or Tony yep. so we can figure this shit out. It's about to all go down. Yeah, you got to fly the Patriot out. It's a big budget if you're listening and you own a comedy club. Yep. But let's figure it out. Doug, uh, how does that work? Would he... Does he have a special suitcase for I, this? I got a gold yeah. travel bag. That I'm get two of those, put it in, and then I'm gonna bring in this middle section on the plane with me. Is this more fragile? That's your carry-on. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna I get two gold travel bags to put on the legs and the chest. The chest so he'll have to be on a big things. plane to get oh that my into gosh. the overhead. The bomb, the bomb people are just gonna be like, "Are you fucking kidding me, dude?" Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get there early that day. Tony. Red, white, and blue LED star. Oh, good sell. No way, that's a bomb. That's what they're gonna think. Yeah. Doug, your show is so entertaining. Yeah. I've told everybody that I think uh, that I honestly think it is the funniest concept for a show that I've heard of since whoever thought of Kill Tony came up with that. Getting Doug with High is unbelievable, and I just love what you're doing over there. I got to go to one with uh, when you had Jeff Ross on. I got to sit there uh, and watch that taping happen, and it is the most fun concept. So please, everybody, watch that. And what else is going on? What do you want to promote? Oh, let me tell them where they can see it. Wednesdays at 4.15, and thank you. Uh, 4.15 every Wednesday we start, and then uh, we smoke and bite 4.20, and uh, it's at uh, my YouTube page, uh, youtube.com slash Doug Benson. Awesome. And there's a bunch of uh, you know episodes that we've already done, like the one, the one you mentioned with Jeff Ross, so people can just... Go watch them whenever they want. When's your Comic Con movie coming out? Uh, still uh, trying to finish it up. We're on the finishing touches, trying to figure out how much money we want to spend on music, how important music is. Uh, and the Comic Patriot do the music. Oh, yeah. the that's dirty good, grabber. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Follow is, the Comic Patriot on Twitter. <laughs> He's uh, awesome on Twitter. Uh, I'm in the I'm, I'm in the process of building a Kill Tony blog as of today. Uh, gonna start putting thoughts and interesting aspects of whatever I think uh, on that, so we can get interactive and I can communicate with you guys listening better. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, live audience, for coming out. Woo! Part of history, the fastest growing podcast in the history of the internet. Thanks for being part of it. Bye, guys. See ya. I'm just a freak with the freaks of the industry. Yo, you worst money be the freaks of the industry. And when you see us backstage, be prepared to cheat.